Now let's take a look at installing Chessbase 11. Well, it's, uh, the process is relatively simple. You, you first of all have to put the DVD of Chessbase 11 into the DVD drive of your computer. And once you've done that, you should get a screen something like this, the autoplay window. Uh, and that'll tell you you've got the Chessbase 11 logo there. And it'll give you two options. And the one you want to do, straightforward, just click here where it says run setup.exe. That's very simple. Just click on there, left click, and you'll start the installation process. If this screen doesn't appear, if the autoplay screen doesn't appear, you can go via your computer, which might be an icon on your desktop here. Or you can go into your, your start menu and then the computer. And that will bring up a list of all the drives on your computer, one of which will be the DVD drive that contains the Chessbase 11 disk. Just double click on that icon, that will start the installation process. Um, either of those two methods are fine, you can do either of those, that's uh, absolutely no problem at all. If you've seen any of my installation videos before though, you'll know I always tend to do one extra step which is optional. You don't need to do this. I like to open the disk contents, that was by right clicking, clicking open. And then right click on the setup and click run as administrator. Uh, it's just something I've done with uh, Windows Vista and Windows 7. You don't need to do that. Whichever way you do, whichever of the three methods you use, you'll get this screen here, the install screen. You'll see the start button's greyed out because we haven't installed it yet, so you've either got the options to close or install. And when you're ready, simply click install. But before we do, just to let you know, the installation does take um, quite a few minutes. Obviously, the speed that it'll install will depend on your computer be faster on faster computers with faster disk drives and more memory. Uh, so it may take a little while to install this, but stay with it. It's usually only between about uh, one to five minutes. And um, what I'll do is once I get the installation going, I'll uh, pause the video and then we'll have a new video at the end of the installation. Anyway, let's walk you through that process now. So when you're ready to go, click install. And you can see it's bringing up a little window, it's preparing to install and it's welcoming you to the setup wizard. It's just saying this is going to install Chessbase 11 on your computer, so click next to continue. Or cancel to exit the setup wizard, but we don't want to cancel, we want to click next. Here we have the default folder, the destination folder for the files for Chessbase 11. It's going to install Chessbase 11 to this folder location on your hard drive. Um, as with all programs, um, it's a good idea to just install to the default location, unless you have a very good reason not to. And um, unless you're a, a very advanced computer user, I would say stick with the default location. Um, this is going to your program files and to a folder that's created called Chessbase. You really don't need to worry about this. This is where the program files, the system files of the actual program are going. It's not the data files, it's not your database, anything like that. It's the actual files that you'll use for the program. If you do need to change it, just click the button that's here that says change, and you can choose any other folder on your computer. But as I say, for 99.99% .99 of users, I really would recommend sticking with the default folder that'll be here. And uh, so ready when you're ready to go, simply click next. Well, there you go. That's as uh, many different screens as you're going to get. It's now ready to install. Click install to, be to begin the installation. If you need to change anything, you can click back, but it's all very simple, very straightforward. So when you're ready to go, simply click Install. Well, here you can see a sort of familiar Windows installation screen. Uh, we've got here an empty grey bar, or just a solid grey bar, and the word Status. What it's doing, it's initialising at the moment. Oh, there we go, and you can see it's now started to fill up. It's filling up from the left. As I say, the speed that it'll do this will depend entirely on the speed of your computer. So it's filling up the bar from the left. This is going quite quickly, so we might stay with it. We might be able to stay with it for this video. And uh, what happens during this is copying all the files from the Chessbase 11 DVD onto your computer. So this will take um, a bit of time. It can take anything up to five minutes depending on, as I say, the speed of your computer, how much memory you've got and the speed of the disk drive on your computer. But be patient because it won't be too long. Um, yours might go quicker than mine, it might go slower, don't worry. It will get there in the end. As you can see it's filling up quite nicely now. We're uh, nearly there, about 90% of the way I'd guess. And there we go, it's just about to finish I think. We're just having the last few things 
don't worry if it looks like it's stalled it should all carry on just finishing up the installation there we go very simple easy and painless process click the finish button to exit the setup wizard well there you go you can simply click finish now and we're done we've got the chess base 11 icon here you can uh, instantly start that program but I advise people um, just as a matter of good practice to reboot their computer here it's always a good idea but you don't have to you can go straight into using chess base 11 and we'll show you more about that in the next video